Okay, you've had a few minutes to read up a little bit on Medicare supplement plan, but you know, there's nothing better than a visual representation to get a better idea as to how they work. Um, they have standardized coverage, which means the coverage with them is all the same. Doesn't matter what plan you, you choose. Uh, they all supplement Medicare A and Medicare B. Now, it's just a matter of, do you want to pay a higher premium and have no cost sharing, pay nothing when you see a doctor and need a test or have to go in the hospital? Or do you want to pay a little less and you'll take a little bit more out of your pocket? So what I've done is I've prepared uh, an illustration for you so that you can see um, what some of the differences are. The first is going to come out right up, come out uh, of one of the plan books. And it's got a quite a few plans in there, but we're going to focus on three just for simplicity purposes. All right. The first one is, if you'll notice, these plans all have letter designations, um, as if it's not confusing enough with Medicare A, B, C, and D. The Medicare Medigap plans also have letters, but they designate a level of coverage. So if you were to pay the most per month, you would pay little or nothing for your health care on a go-forward basis. You pay a little bit less per month, you're going to take a little more out of your pocket. So if you look down, I've highlighted some of them here. Uh, again, this is coming out of one of the plan books where you can see they're really talking about coverage for Medicare A, Medicare B, pints of blood, hospice, skilled nursing. You know, there's some cost sharing with Medicare A and B as far as the deductible goes. Uh, they even give you some uh, travel benefits. And some of the plans actually have an out-of-pocket limit because those are the ones that have co-pays. If you notice, uh, the check marks just mean you have full coverage for it. But when you get to some of the other plans, like these two, right in the middle here, you've got uh, Plan uh, K. As you can see, your cost share goes up to maybe 50% of what it would be with a Medicare rate. So if you're paying 20% with Medicare Part B, because Medicare pays 80%, you would pay half. Same thing with hospital. If you look at Plan N over here, uh, you can see that you're going to have some co-pays applying to Part B services. Your cost share in the hospital will still be zero. So they do this because, you know, it, it's not a one-size-fits-all. Maybe someone doesn't need as much uh, cost being covered as somebody else. It all depends upon, you know, again, what their individual needs are. So if we go over to each individual plan, the first one we're going to stop at is Plan G. Uh, if you notice, you got a $283.50 monthly premium on that. That is over and above your Medicare Part B premium. The base premium for that in 2023 is $164.90. So by investing some additional money per month in a Plan G, what are you getting for it? Well, it covers your core shares for your A and B Medicare. So if you look, and the, the plan books on these, the pages are actually very simple. It's just A and it's B. The first stop is Part A. As you can see, it says hospital services. So if you scroll down, it's showing what you would have to pay on Medicare, $1,600 uh, for the first 60 days. And if you notice, Plan G is picking that up so you don't have to pay anything. All right. That's what you're getting in return for that. People that are using their insurance a lot may have maybe have multiple hospital stays. They'll benefit uh, from this. If I scroll down, and I'm not going to get into all the details with it, but if we just go to the next page, which is the second part, which is Medicare Part B, you do have one piece of uh, cost share with this plan, which is your Part B deductible of $226. That's an annual deductible. You only pay it once. You're going to see it listed in different places here. But once it's paid, you don't have to pay it. And after you pay it, remember we talked about Medicare picking up 80%, your 20% is picked up by Plan G. So you don't have to pay anything when you use this plan. But maybe some people don't really feel like paying, you know, $283 a month. They could switch over to a plan called N. If you'll notice, it's $217 a month, quite a bit less. What's the difference? Well, the hospital looks the same. You still have that $1,600 Medicare copay, and the plan is paying it. But when you get over to the Part B side, all right, which is everything outside the hospital, if you'll notice, there's that $226 deductible, just like the plan before, only now when you use this plan, all right, 
your 20% has now been reduced down to a copay of no more than $20. If you notice, there's a little proviso in here. If you go in the emergency room, which is not covered under the hospital, believe it or not, it's covered under Medicare Part B, you have a $50 copay that get, gets waived if you are admitted to the hospital, in which case you would pay nothing. But as you can see, you're paying a little more per month. Uh, I'm sorry, a little less per month for this plan. But now you're taking a little bit more money out of your pocket. If we continue on, there's still another way to go. And again, this is just for example, so you can see how these plans work. If you look, here's a plan called K. Now, the first two plans were quite a bit more money. This one's only $92 uh, per month. Again, it's over your Part B premium of $164.90. Um, remember, we said if you go in the hospital with just straight Medicare, you're going to have a $1,600 copay. The other two plans picked up that copay. With this plan, they only pick up half of it. So they're picking up $800, and your cost share is going to be the other eight, 50%. So you can still go to any doctor, any hospital. The coverage is the same as the other two. You're just taking a little more money out of your pocket when you use it. And that 50% translates all the way down. So if we go over to the Part B side, which is medical, as we said, uh, you're looking at there's your Part B deductible. Again, you have to pay it. Only now when you use it, as we mentioned before, Medicare picks up 80%. Your core share with uh, Medicare is 20%. Only now plan, plan K is paying half of your 20%, which translates to 10% and your core share is 10%. So as you can see, you stair-stepped your way down, you're paying less per month. You've solved the problem of being able to go to any doctor or hospital in any state, especially if you're traveling around the country, you can still walk in because Medicare is still your primary. Only now what you, had, what you have to decide with these plans is, well, how much copay do you wanna take out of your pocket when you actually use it? And how much premium is really uh, going to be tolerable for you? All right. So that's the way these plans work. Um, again, pick up the phone and call me if you have questions. Next stop, Medicare Advantage.